So what I'm doing at the moment is cleaning off the outside of the magnesium because when you get magnesium it has got this nice little black coating over it. So the magnesium has a coating on it and the idea is to clean it so that it no longer has the coating. So that's what I'm currently doing. We're also heating up the crucible so that any water that's absorbed in the porcelain has not been included in any of the measurements that we take. Okay, so what we've done is we've heated up the crucible so that it's super hot. That would remove any water from the crucible. And the same with the lid. We're just waiting for it to cool. And then we can get the mass of the crucible and the lid. In the meantime, I'm still cleaning magnesium. This is where I wish you guys were here because this is the worst part of the experiment. And you'd usually hold it up to me and I'd go, no, not clean enough yet, keep going. So guess what? Not clean enough yet, keep going. Right, so now we're going to get the mass of the crucible. So our balance is set up to record to three decimal places. I'm going to have the lid as well in this crucible. So the crucible and the lid together, I'll put this on so that we've got no air flow affecting the results. The crucible and the lid together is 37.442 grams. I'll take this off. Take the lid off and then I'll add my magnesium ribbon to my crucible remembering that we never put anything into a device sitting on the balance we always take it off so I'll just roll up that magnesium so that it fits notice how nice and shiny it is now very shiny I'll roll it up and put it inside the crucible, putting the lid back on. Actually, I'll put the lid on after it's sitting on the balance. So now my magnesium and crucible and lid comes to 37.71. Oh. Let's just check. Put this back on. Right, so magnesium and crucible and lid is 37.717 grams. So you can do that subtraction to see how much the magnesium ribbon actually has a weight of or a mass of. Right, next part is I put my crucible onto the burner and we heat it. We heat it making sure that there's an opportunity for oxygen to come in so I'm just lifting, lifting the lid off a little bit give oxygen a chance to go in and then we heat. So I'll light the burner again. I've got the air hole closed this time. Pan out of the way, that out of the way. Open this air hole and we heat this strongly. So we let that sit there and heat strongly and we'll leave it until all of that magnesium has reacted with oxygen. So just so that you can see what's happened here, we'll take the lid off. You can see that the magnesium has all reacted with the oxygen. It's no longer shiny magnesium. It's a white powdery substance. Okay, so we've let that cool. All we need to do now is find the final mass. So if we lift that up, put it on the balance. 
interesting to ask you at this stage if you think the mass is going to be more or less. So now that you've thought about that, the final mass of the crucible, the lead and the magnesium oxide is 37.866 grams. Okay, so if you want to get those measurements, here they are. Okay, you should be able to go on now and do the questions that go with this part of the practice.